Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. It will not resonate with all of you out there. It doesn't just keep it moving. Personal reading information will be listed in the description box, as well as all jewelry seen linked, all card decks used also linked. The animal pool oracles give you a little bit more guidance for the week. And what else? That's it. That's all. Let's get into it. One more card for Aquarius, please. What else does Aquarius need to know? Interesting. Interesting. One more card for Aquarius. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate the patience in advance. Okay. Temperance. I've been seeing that a lot. Temperance and Page of Swords. Who are we watching, Aquarius? Who are we keeping tabs on? Who's keeping tabs on us? You. Somebody. Heavy air sign energy here. Bottom of the deck. Oh, I, I see. This is who we. This is who we peeping, keeping. You know, keeping tabs on. Nine of Pentacles energy at the bottom of your deck. This is single, fabulous, and loving life. Right. Privileged lady energy. Someone that is well kept. Usually, they keep themselves. Absolutely someone to admire though, right? This is the person that can do bad all by themselves and they're just it's just the effortless That's what it really is, you know about this type of energy the lack of effort, but yet Holding it all together. So just you know Usually someone that's worked a very 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 hard Very independent individual as well They don't need you. They want you So this could be someone that you are observing. This could be someone observing you This is how you are being perceived or this is how you are perceiving someone they got it going on. They got it going on. Queen, King, Knight. <laughs> Knight of Swords and the World Card, Major Arcana. This is you, Knight of Swords energy, or this could just be the vibe that you or this person is in. There's some sort of communication coming in or some sort of sudden ending to something. A cycle has ended either for you or this person, Aquarius. The World Card is an ending. You know, maybe been a maybe might have been a little bit hard to let go of because as you can see here, she's kind of looking back, even though her body's moving forward. Still kind of, you know, looking back a bit, but moving forward nonetheless, right? Could have been sudden sudden, could have been abrupt. Knight of Swords is usually very impulsive energy, some sort of impulsive communication either coming towards you or that you have given to someone ending that, that initiated some sort of ending. Could have been something you were do, dealing with for a long time the world is usually some sort of long cycle right like a job you've been at for a long time a relationship you've been in for a long time a house that you've lived in for a long time it's kind of like suddenly just ending somebody communicated something or someone did something without thinking impulsively that initially brought some sort of ending to the situation so some of you could now be single for sure single and thinking where it is that you're going to put your pentacles time and energy into what now, right? I see the Ten of Pentacles here. So there is an opportunity for something to, something else to flourish, it seems like. Something else to have long-term potential. Lots of Pentacles here. Some of you are very work-focused. All about your Pentacles. But yeah, more confirmation of an ending here. Someone could have said something very hurtful. All these swords with this world card. Tired of it. You could be tired, someone else is tired of just someone's shitty behavior, their impulsivity. It's, it's no longer working for you or for someone else. Maybe for a long time you didn't want to see it. Didn't want to see it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You went from all the way to the two, all the way to the ten. And that's how it works. When we avoid things that we damn well know we need to get rid of, <clears throat> it's only a matter of time, right? It's only a matter of time before the, make, the universe makes it where like you cannot... Like, you cannot live to stay in the situation. Like, you literally will die if you stay in the situation emotionally, mentally, spiritually. It will allow this person, situation, place, thing, whatever, to drain every single last crumb of life out of you. If that's what is needed for you to understand, then it needs to be left behind. So, whatever it is we were trying to avoid seeing, no longer avoiding seeing that. And I always say about the Ten of Swords, about two, three of those swords are actually other people inflicting it upon us the rest that's our doing by the choices that we choose to make by all the red flags we choose to ignore we put those swords there ourselves. 
This is multiple cycles of not learning, going back, All right? So nail in the coffin energy, nail in the coffin. Some of you are recently single or this is whoever that you are connected to. Judgment, Six of Cups. It looks like there is some sort of decision though. Judgment is major arcana. Some sort of soulmate energy here that looks like it's coming back around. Judgment is being called on a past connection that seemed to be pure at nature. Six of Cups is very pure energy. Thinking of the good old days, right? Could be someone you've known from childhood. Right, and this person just kind of gives you or you give them a very, very genuine, pure, authentic vibe. Because vibes don't lie. So it could be that now that someone's single, now that someone's single completely, they are free to brainstorm or, you know, put their energy elsewhere, invest in other things. It looks like there is some sort of connection that you are already thinking of or this person is, you know, Eight of Pentacles, Temperance card, Major Archon in your future position, some sort of patience, some sort of balancing. Some of you are very focused on work right now, working on the self, getting your Pentacles back up if your Pentacles took a hit from whatever this ending was. But it looks like there is something on your mind. I do see the Magician card here too. Temperance card is uh, patience, divine timing energy. Maybe you do have someone on your mind or someone has you on their mind, but they are not dumb. To jump into one thing from another right taking that time to heal to work on themselves to work out any kinks that have been created while they were in this ten of ten of swords energy for some of you it is a marriage for some of you it is a job for some of you it is a house that you have been working very hard towards but can no longer do it the universe says no looks like you do have someone that you are either observing or you're being observed by someone but it looks like they're taking their time to heal they're not being messy you know Got you on their mind, though, or vice versa. You are definitely in their thoughts. But I do think they are smart enough to realize you can't just go from one thing to the other. So maybe just observing in the meantime until the right time. Until the right time. That temperance card is divine timing. Sagittarius season, too, could also be very significant because we have temperance in your future. And that is Sagittarius energy. And I think that's in November, right? the end of November so someone could have recently broke up got out of something long term taking their time to heal but very much have their eye on you very much have you in their sights what do we have for Aquarius for September what do they need to know yeah this person is um, weighing you know keeping an eye on you really you know Deciding what it is they want to do, how they're going to do it. A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. We are in Virgo season. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Yep. It's only a matter of time before this person's ready to give energy to this. Because there is energy that wants to be given. But I think um, the smart thing, the responsible thing is to... Give one, give one time, give oneself time, especially if you're coming out of something you've been in for a very long time, right? But there is an investment that is wanting to be made eventually when the time is right, temperance. What else do we have for Aquarius? Yeah, seems like the universe sent this past person in, though could be a friend, absolutely. Could be a friend where it's maybe growing to a little bit more. That's the kind of vibe I've been getting these with these readings. Some sort of friendship that is growing beyond friendship. If you don't believe in yourself, how can you expect anyone else to? This is very much whoever this is that got out of that uh, long-term situation. This Eight of Pentacles is them building their confidence, their, their money, their stability, their, their frame of mind. Building it back up before they jump into anything else, right? Don't want to bring any baggage into new situations. So it's only a matter of time. But someone definitely has their eye on you. But this person is very emotionally mature. If you don't believe in yourself, how can you expect anyone else to? Time to give rather than tape. So the time will come where this person will give, will be ready to give. But very much working on the self right now. Replenishing the self. 
What does it say? The things that you say to yourself matter. Be kind. So no negative thinking. This could be what needs to be healed. Some sort of negative thinking pattern. Do see a lot of swords here. Do see a lot of swords. That is your reading, Aquarius. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, I will see you all next week.